What do you imagine this place to be? Is it indoors or outdoors? Use your senses. I don't want you to use your eyes. I want you to feel it. What does it feel like? Okay, so... Trees, grass. Mm -hmm. Trees and grass. Very good. Tell me more. Tell me more about this group, the trees and the grass. Is it an open place? Seems like a park. A park, very good. Look around and see if you see other things in this park. I want you to use your feelings. Is this a big park or a small park? What does it feel like? Mm, a small park. Okay, so as you look around, what other features do you sense from this park? Is there anything there besides grass and trees? Use all of your senses. The more you talk, the more it will be seen. I... I am... Um, I'm getting two distinct things, which is the one tree and the patch of grass. Mm -hmm. So let's focus on one of those. You will know which one is more important. Which one stands out the most? I like the tree. All right. So I'd like for you to use all of your senses and describe this tree. Connect with this tree. What do you feel from it? Connect your heart and soul with this tree. you feel? Hmm. Trust your first impression. What do you feel? What's the importance of this tree? What is this tree? Mm -hmm. And focus on the observer of this tree. In this park, do you have a physical body? What is the observer of this tree like? Well, I see... I 
I see a little girl looking at the tree. Very good. Very good. Describe this little girl for me. What does she look like? long is her dress? To her knees. Mm -hmm. Let's see if she's holding anything. Anything else about this little girl? She... Dressed nicely. Mm -hmm. There's like something to do with just for school or for church. Mm -hmm. See like black shoes with straps with white socks. Mm -hmm. at the tree. What do you imagine is in that tree? Take a look and see. See it from a different perspective. What's in that tree that catches this little girl's eye? I want you to use all of your senses. I want you to listen. If there's anything in the tree, observe the tree. A uh, friend? Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this friend. The tree is her friend. Ah, the tree is a friend. How does she connect with this friend? Uh, knowing? Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you now to allow yourself to go into those that little girl's body and see through her eyes and feel through her knowing. What do you feel from that perspective? What do you know? The tree's knowing will become your thoughts. What thoughts are coming from that tree? Uh, let's see. Uh, I f uh, f I see the two go back to a different time. Mm -hmm. Very good. And the tree is now. Sentient, it's it's a being that moves on its own. Mm-hmm. What does this sentient being look like? Mm -hmm. 
Like a tree, but with arms and legs. Mm -hmm. Very good. Tell me more about this. Or oh, rather, like its branches or arms and its mm -hmm. roots or legs. Mm -hmm. Very good. But it has has like a face in its mm -hmm. bark. Mm -hmm. And he is he mm -hmm. is kind of bending over and extending its arm to the little girl. Mm -hmm. Who, let's see, who is this little girl here? Um, I'm not seeing her clearly, mm -hmm. but the two are friends mm -hmm. and what does this tree do for this little girl The more you talk, the deeper you'll go, and the deeper you'll go, the more knowing will come out. You'll be connected to the source of information. Keep talking. Well, let's see. What I see is the tree Bending down and extensioning the, his arm limb to the girl. What I know is that they're friends. Mm -hmm. They do things together. Tell me more. What's the importance of this relationship? What do we need to know about this relationship? Well, it's, um... But, uh, that's kind of... It's the importance of... of nature in our lives. Mm-hmm. So, um, that we're not separate from it. Mm -hmm. We are it. Uh, okay. uh, Anything else? that we would need to know. I have a, um, there is, there's like a fairy tale quality to this. Mm -hmm. So why is it that Michael needs to know about this fairy tale? What is being shown that he needs to know? Stories. Mm -hmm. What story does he need to know about this? Is it about nature? Everything's a story. Mm -hmm. Why does he need to know this? Tales, stories. Has 
Has he ever done any fairy tales? Hmm. Everything's a fairy tale? Everything's a fairy tale. Mm hmm. So, what is the fairy tale that Michael's life is? What is that fairy tale about? Why has he written this fairy tale for himself? Hmm. Let's take a look at the quality of the fairy tale of the lifetime of Michael. Writing, writing things into existence. Uh -huh. Constructing existence. Uh -huh. What should he be doing in life? To enjoy it? To move forward? To do things that stimulate him? Playing. Mm -hmm. Playing and creating. Mm -hmm. Well, he seems to have been doing that, but he's always come up with excuses that he's too busy. He's busy at work, busy being a dad. When can he find time to play? the things that he should be playing at. Show him a picture of himself doing these things. What are the things that he should be doing? Mm, uh, drawing. Mm hmm. Writing. Mm hmm. Just letting the creative creativity flow. Mm hmm. And why is it that he's had little luck? in getting his stuff published. Was that because of the little boy that was hiding, running away? Take a look now and see what the difference is as he puts his work out. Now that he is whole, how different will that look? Go ahead and say it because he won't be able to hear it if it's silent on the recording. Uh, I'm not getting a clear picture. Mm -hmm. So get a clear feeling. What does that feeling feel like? Allow it to bubble up in your body. Mm -hmm. Lightness. Mm -hmm. Joy. Mm -hmm. 
So when he does these things now, it's going to be more like play than work? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Now he's told me that he also wants to raise his vibration and expand and open his consciousness as much as he can. He'd like to be able to connect and create an open dialogue with his higher self. How can he connect now with this on more of a daily basis? Mm. The biggest connection to the higher self is when he's creating. Mm -hmm. So when he's creating, it's flowing? Yes. Mm -hmm. So does he need to set an intention? Or will it just begin to flow as he creates? Just flows, very good. Now he says that he has had dreams for a long time where they've been a little crazy. And he wants to know what's happening when he's dreaming. Does he go to other places or does he work things out? What is he doing? Why does he go to this place? Is he working things out there? Yeah, I'm busy over there. Mm -hmm. Are there any of the dreams that he's written important for him to visit today, to understand? any of these dreams that are affecting him. Would you allow him now to connect with one of these dreams that has some information for him? Is that okay? All right, so I'm going to count from five to one, and I'd like for you now to begin to go to one of those dreams that is the most important for Michael to understand today, one that has had a message for him. I'm going to count from five back to one. When I get to number one, I will tap your forehead, and you will be in that dream once again. Five, going back in time. Seeing yourself as you lift and rise into that dream. Four. Moving to the other side. Three. Allowing the images to appear in your mind's eye. Two. Acclimating yourself. And one, be there now. Where are you? Uh, a kitchen table with two other people. Mm -hmm. 
Tell me about yourself there. Do you look like you looked in this lifetime? Hmm. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. What do you look like there? Are you male or female? Uh, male. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Uh, overalls. Mm -hmm. A little chubby, short hair, something of a country quality. Mm -hmm. Who's sitting at the table with you? Uh, two other guys. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine these two other guys are? Are they friends or family? Mm. Or something else? What do mm. you feel from them? Guys on the job. Guys on the job, very good. Do you work with these? Hmm, this job. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what they're doing there. What is the purpose for sitting at this table today? Well, we killed some people. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Family. Mm -hmm. Whose family did you kill? I, I don't know who they are. Mm -hmm. Why did you kill them? Uh, it's the job. Mm -hmm. So is this what you do? You just kill people? Is that your profession? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I think this is the only one. Okay. The other guy's more though. They brought me in. Okay. What do you get from killing this family? needed some money. Mm -hmm. They made it sound like it was easy and How did you not too bad. How did you kill them? Gun, shotgun. Mm -hmm. Simple, quick. Mm -hmm. And this kitchen where you are now is there the, is it their kitchen or yours? Oh, it's their kitchen. It's after the job. Mm hmm So how do you feel while you're sitting there with them? Well, I am feeling both detached but repulsed. Mm-hmm. So take a look at the crime scene. Remember it. How many are there that you killed? There are three. Mm -hmm. I want you to connect with these. See if you recognize these souls. Mm -hmm. Very good. 
So then let's find out what happens after this. I'd like for you to close this scene and now go to the next scene of this same lifetime that is important. Be there now. Where are you? Barn, mm -hmm. tractor, hay. Tell me more. What are you doing there? Back to being a farmer. Mm -hmm. Has anything happened about this killing? No. No. Very good. So let's close the scene and now let's go to the next significant event in that same lifetime. Be there now. Where are you? Um, getting handcuffed. Mm -hmm. Found out. How did they find out? Forensics. Mm -hmm. So what happens next? Jail. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Fifties. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to accelerate yourself through that life and tell me what happens next that's important. Uh, this, the rest of my life is in jail. There's nothing else. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'd like for you now to go to the last day of that lifetime. See yourself on the last day. What happened? What's happening? Where are you on your last day? Uh, I think I'm getting beaten to death. Mm -hmm. Who's beating you? Uh, the other prisoners. Mm -hmm. Detach yourself from that. Allow yourself to leave that body. And as you look at that lifetime, how has this lifetime affected the lifetime of Michael? Mm, it's a, not a dark energy. Mm -hmm. Is this dark energy his? Or does it belong to the farmer? Was this life the life of Michael or someone else? to the farmer. Mm -hmm. Is that the same soul as Michael? Let's take a look and see if this farmer was a past life or it is someone attached to Michael. Take a look. Scan the body. And let's see. Is this entity separate from him? 
or the same? Attached? Mm-hmm. Where is this entity attached? I feel something in the pit of my stomach. Mm-hmm. All right. So I'm going to bring that energy up. As I come up, the energy will begin to release. You can speak now. What is your name, please? What is your name? What did they call you when you were in prison? What did they call you in prison? What is your name? Mm, Jebediah? Mm -hmm. When I say the word Jebediah, does that make sense to you? Is that your name? Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jebediah, why is it that you did not go to the light after they beat you in prison? Why didn't you go home? I mm, don't know where home is. Ah. So what have you been doing to Michael? Ah, uh, I gotta hide out somewhere. Mm -hmm. What are you, what are you hiding from? Oh, my crimes. Oh, okay. Well, don't you think that by being in prison, you redeemed yourself there? Or are you holding remorse? Mm, no. I don't feel good about what I did. Mm -hmm. So if you don't feel good about what you did, what are you doing with, with Michael? Why are you making him feel so bad? Did you know this soul? No. Mm -hmm. So how old was he when you found him? Uh, just a child. Mm -hmm. What was happening in his life that made him so vulnerable to you, Jebediah? No, he was in pain. Mm -hmm. What kind of pain? Uh, emotional pain. Mm -hmm. Like you? Yeah. Mm hmm So, what have you been making him feel all this time? Uh, uh, anxiety, unrest. Mm hmm Do you have anything to do with him not being able to find friends? Well, it is best if we don't intermingle too much. They might find out. Mm-hmm. So if he doesn't have friends, he won't talk? He won't sell you out? Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. What else? to hide. Okay, so you're basically just hiding out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Jebediah, all this time you could have been home and feeling better. But you chose instead to hide out in a body that was not yours. Would you like to finally stop hiding out and go home? Yeah, it'd be nice. Alright. You had that within you all this time. 
Jebediah, look within your own heart and you're going to see a spark of light. Tell me when you find that light. Hmm. That's maybe very small, but this is the God spark. This is a spark that created you, Jebediah. Find it. Okay. All right, now make it bigger. The same way you found it, make that light bigger. And as you make it bigger, tell me what it feels like as it expands within your essence. How does it feel? Mm, feels good. It feels good. Does it feel better than hiding out in Michael's body? Mm, yeah, it certainly feels better. I don't know if it's safer. Well, we're going to find out if it's safe. What I'm going to do, Jebediah, is I'm going to ask some of my helpers to come. I'm going to ask for the angels of the white light to come and surround you. And as they do, I want you to tell me what they tell you. What do they say? Mm, they take me home. They take you home, but you can't go home yet because you've done quite a bit of damage to Michael's life. What would you like to tell him about what you've put him through all this time? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Michael, can you forgive Jebediah for not knowing any better, for trying to hide out in someone who is completely safe? Yeah. All right. So now, Jebediah, I'd like for you to begin releasing yourself from the pit of his stomach. And Michael, go in there, make sure that all of the cords have been cut, and as you cut them, they will dissolve and allow Jebediah to release from your body. And now, Jebediah, I'd like for you to go ahead through the crown of his head right here. And Archangel Michael is there. He and the angels of the white light will escort you home. And tell me when you get there. Hmm, okay. Who's there? How does it feel to be back home? Oh, yeah, oh, it's nice. This is just beautiful. Beautiful. Is there anyone there to welcome you? Hmm, my daughter. Mm -hmm. Very good. Give her a big hug and may the light of the universe always accompany you, Jebediah. Thank you very much. And now I'd like for you to disconnect from Jebediah. And I'd like to ask my team, the angels, Archangel Raphael, and go ahead and begin sending his beautiful green light into that area where Jebediah was attached and move it up and down the body so that he can feel the healing of all of this space. It's had some trauma in it. I'd like for you now to check in with your body and see if there's any other movements, shadows, anything else in the body that is affecting Michael. Anywhere else? Or is that the only place? Mm. Uh, maybe my legs. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your legs. Are they both of them? 
What's happening in the legs? What do you see there? What do you feel? I'm really uneasy. All right, both of them? Yeah. All right, well, something must be have found out. I'm going to go ahead and start moving those legs and bring the energy up. I'm going to grab your feet and bring that energy up. Bring it up. Feel it coming up. Feel it coming up. Feel it coming up the legs. All the way up. All the way up. All the way up. Who are you? You and the legs. Male or female? Who are you? I'm not going to talk. Oh, okay. Well, I can't help you today if you're not going to talk. And the reason you're here today is for me to help you. So the only way that I can help you is for you to talk. Are you male or female? What are you? And you know, there's a, a rule in the spirit world that if I address you, you need to speak with me. You know that rule. Mm. Are you male or female? That's not a gender. That's just a noise. Have you ever had a human body before? No. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a body before? I'm speaking with you. You need to answer me. I don't know. You don't know. What name can I call you? What name can I call you? Lost, okay. May I call you Lost? All right. All right, so Lost. When was the last time that you were found? Where are you from? Why are you lost? When was the last time that you were in a place that you knew you were alive? See the images in your mind. When were you not lost? I have to keep quiet, otherwise no. I'll get in trouble. Okay. Are you little? Let's find out why you're getting in trouble. Who's going to get you into trouble? Daddy's going to hurt you? Are you a boy or a girl? Girl. Girl. How old are you? Two. Two. What's Daddy doing to you? Oh, hit me. He's hitting you. 
Why is daddy hitting you? I don't know. Mm -hmm. So what happens? What happened to you when daddy hit you? It hurts. It hurts. Where is it that you're hurt? My body. Your whole body. So I want you to see the last day that your body was hurt. When it finally stopped hurting, what happened that day? What did daddy do to you? What, what happened? Oh, he hit me. Mm -hmm. And what happened? Where did you go? I left. You left. And when, when was that? When did you leave? A long time ago? Mm, yeah. Mm hmm. So, how did you find Michael? Was he a little boy? Or was he bigger? How old was Michael? He was a teenager. What is it about Michael that attracted you to him? What um, happened? I understood the darkness. Mm -hmm. So he was in the darkness too? Yeah. yeah. So what have you been doing to Michael all this time? Mm. Causing his legs to to move. Mm -hmm. Why are you making his legs move? I have to run. Mm -hmm. Running away from daddy? Yeah. Mm hmm Are you finally ready to go home? To where you should go? Where you could feel safe and not have to run anymore? Yeah, I want to be safe. Mm hmm So let's do something. What did your daddy call you? Did you have a name? Isabella. Isabel. Or Isabella. 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 Isabella, I want you to find that little spark of light inside of your heart. Find that spark and make it bigger. This is the spark of the Creator, the one that created you. Tell me when you have made that spark big. How does that feel, Isabella? Mm, I can't find it. Mm, it's in there. It's in your heart. You have to have it because you were created just like everyone else. Look in your heart, you'll see it. Look for that little light. It's going to be really tiny because you're very small. You'll see it sparkling. And when you find that little light, you're going to make it bigger. And it's going to make you feel really good. Mm. How does that feel? Mm. 
Mm, it's nice. Very nice. Does that feel safe? Mm, comforting. Mm -hmm. This is what home feels like. You don't have to run anymore. But you first have to forgive yourself for running away and not going home. Can you forgive yourself for that, Isabella? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you want Michael to forgive you for being in his feet all this time and making him run away from everything? Mm, no, it doesn't mean any harm. All right, so take a deep breath in. Michael, can you forgive Isabella for not knowing any better? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to send you her your love, connect with her heart, and Isabella, go ahead and release yourself from his feet. And I'm going to call in Archangel Michael to help you, take you home. Go on up through the top of his head. Disconnect completely. And tell me when you see him. Mm, yeah. What does he look like? Beautiful light. Beautiful. So I'd like for you to go with that light. Allow both of your lights to merge. And tell me what happens when you get home. Who's there? No, um, Daddy's there. Mm-hmm. Pretty loves me. Very good. Do you feel different with your daddy now? Yeah. Very good. Give him a big hug. Forgive him for what he's done. And may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. And now, detach from Isabella. And I'd like to ask Archangel Raphael to go in and begin putting that soothing, healing green light throughout his feet and legs, sealing all of the area where Isabella was attached. And as we do that, I'd like for you to scan the body and see if there's any other shadows, movement, something that should not be there in Michael's body. How does that body look? Good. Good, very good. So now I'd like to ask, how is it that both Isabella and Jebediah have been affecting Michael's life? Uh, a lot of limitations. Mm -hmm. Holding him back, mm -hmm. limiting. Holding him back from everything. Yeah, like, like keeping him walled up. Mm hmm Is that why he can't find his friends, his group, his tribe? Yeah, yeah, that's so much of it. Mm hmm There's just, there was... Was all of the the fear, the pain, mm -hmm. the hiding, the escaping, the running, mm -hmm. making sure you're not noticed, mm -hmm. always hiding. So how can he be a famous author and artist if he's hiding? Well, how about now? He doesn't have to hide anymore. No, no. I mean, it's not really about him. It's it's about the work. Mm -hmm. What is it important about his work that it needs to get out there? Oh, the work will have a life of its own. Mm -hmm. So he's going to channel this work? 
through his higher self. Uh, I mean, all of the work is always channeled through the higher self, mm -hmm. always coming through with the flow. Okay, good. So he just needs to do more of that now. Yeah. Okay, good. Now he tells me that even in his hypnosis sessions in the past and a lot of dreams, he's always in, been encountering and battle, battling with evil in his dreams. Are these part of the Jebediah? What has this evil been in his mind? Why has he been seeing this over and over again as a theme in his life? Yeah, Jebediah is definitely, definitely one of the problems. Mm -hmm. Was he bringing with him band of, of darkness? Yeah, he was attached mm -hmm. to... There's a lot of darkness attached to him. To Jebediah. Yeah. So all of those were influencing Michael too. Yeah. All right, so what's happened to all of those? Oh, that influence is not there anymore. Very good, very good. So all these parasites and everything were Jebediah's. Yeah, yeah, there's... There's, there's just kind of like this darkness somewhere. Mm-hmm. Is that darkness still around, Michael? I feel like it's, it's still nearby. All right. So let's find out and identify where this darkness is and why they are still preying on Michael. I'd like to call in my team. And let's find out who they are. I'd like for my team of Archangels to go ahead and begin shining the light around Michael, around the room, and let's identify who these are, who this darkness is. And I'd like for you to, as you look around, tell me what you identify. Oh, man, there. They're everywhere. Mm -hmm. Why is it that they're everywhere around Michael? Hey. They're trying to get to him. Mm -hmm. So what is it that Michael has or doesn't have that they want to prey on him? Let's take a look and see. What makes him so delicious for this darkness? Oh, man, it's the, the light inside. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So is this light something that's been hiding? Or have they been keeping it dark? Oh, they want to... They want to snuff them out. Ah, okay. So let's do something here today to begin expanding that light. Because... That light is going to be like his antibody, his immune system. So let's bring in that white light through the crown of his head, please. And let's put some golden light in with it. And let's bring that light into his whole body and begin to expand that light. That golden white light. Encapsulate Michael and let's begin spreading it out further and further. Let's bring it in full force. Seeing it bursting out as bright as the sun. Let's keep expanding it past the room, past the neighborhood, to the boundaries of the city. towards the mountains, expanding it out in all directions for the entire country. The planet 
bring this light in and just burst it open now so the entire planet is feeling that energy expanding out from Michael's body. Tell me how that is affecting Michael and those of the darkness. Hmm. I feel like a, a phoenix breaking free. Mm -hmm. Very good. Keep expanding that light. Keep going on that power. I'm feeling it in my body, so it's very strong. Tell me where you go with this energy. Uh, up, oh. out, expand. Mm. Mm hmm It's like, it's like being free. Very good. Like all this darkness is just like a cage. Mm hmm Does Michael need to be encaged any longer? Oh, no. No, very good. And now as this beautiful phoenix is flying free, how will it help his relationships? everything uh -huh. it's just uh, just light freedom uh -huh. expansion yeah so I'd like for him to continue bringing in that beautiful golden white light making it his allowing it to always be there as he flies free seeing how his relationships will feel as he now embraces this new Michael with the creativity flowing with the connection uh, so much more flow mm -hmm. keep it flowing this flow things seem Limitless. Very good. Very good. So I'd like for you to memorize this feeling. Know it to be yours. Embrace it. This is the true Michael. Yeah, it's like coming into my full power. Very good. Very good. Is that why Michael came to this session here today? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what is the purpose of him being incarnated into this lifetime? Why has the superhero needed to be here at this time? What will he bring to mankind now that he's at his full potential? A uh, light in the darkness. Mm -hmm guide mm -hmm. a post signpost mm -hmm. he's been there he's done that and now he's broken free yeah mm -hmm. so now will he finally now that he's broken free of this darkness break free into abundance in his life yes very good thank you is there Anything that I could have asked that I, you would like to tell Michael at this time? There's always love. Mm -hmm. So 
fill him with that love. Allow him to feel the love of his higher self, of the angels and guides who accompany him, and most importantly, the love of his creator, the love of God. Fill him with that love. Is there anything else that you would like to tell Michael at this time, or do you feel that we are complete today? That no, we're good. Thank you very much. Let's switch these up. Get you grounded. <sighs> How do you feel? Uh, good. Like a new man? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I liked how at the end I was feeling like a, a, a phoenix, a bird mm -hmm. exploding. Beautiful. Rising up. Yeah, it was an amazing image. <laughs> and I was feeling so free. Yeah. At the same time, that plane flies over. <laughs> There's no coincidences in life. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Quite different than you've had before. Yeah. Yeah. No comparison. Definitely feel a lot of energy mm -hmm. flowing through me still. Yeah, you're going to be vibrating for a little while. Yeah, that's good. I don't mind. Mm -hmm. How long do you think this journey was? Um, hour, an hour and a half. Oh, it's an hour and 49 minutes right now. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, you did great. You did fantastic. You see how personal this was? Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But the personal stuff. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, lots of good stuff though. Yeah. Really interesting stuff. You did great. You did great. Yeah, I'm really surprised. You know, that's, oh, you know, it's always interesting when like, you just suddenly feel like so emotional. Mm hmm. You just start to cry, release. Yep. And it, you know, I'm like sitting there and kind of like telling you what's going on. Mm -hmm. I'm not really feeling like too attached to what I feel very much de detached and like, mm -hmm. this is what's going on, blah, blah, blah. And then suddenly it's like, boom. And then you just start releasing. Yeah. You just feel that connection. Mm hmm And then like with the attachments, it's, that was strange. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Yeah, 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 without a doubt. Yeah, the, the Jebediah was. Mm -hmm. That we started off by going to like a dream. dream. Yeah. yeah. And that was definitely like. It wasn't your life, it was his life. Yeah, but I mean, I remember that dream. And yes. It was a really intense dream. Yeah. About, like murder and. Mm hmm. And he got caught. Yeah. And he got beaten to death. So all of the stuff that you've been feeling, all that darkness, was really from him. He was yeah. attached to that darkness. Yeah. And, you know, they were chasing him, and they, you had it, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He definitely, he brought in, like, a lot of darkness. But then, like, so that was, that was a good part of it. The other part of it was just, like, I felt, like, just completely surrounded by darkness. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. So you want to keep this private? Oh, I mean, I... I found it fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> it's you know I, I I really don't I don't I really don't mind. So Michael, <laughs> here we are. We're in Denver, Colorado, right now. And where do you live? Uh, I live outside of Denver in Littleton. Yeah, there you go. So, wow, this was quite a session. Yeah, yeah. I uh, it's hard to even explain it. <laughs> I'm just, I feel really, like, so out of it still. Yeah. So you were telling me that, um, before we got on camera, that 
you know, it, it, things were going on, in, in, right, in the background? Um, what kind of things are you talking about? No, things that you're seeing? Or? Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's just so much visually happening inside of me. I'm experiencing so much more than what I am saying, which is kind of always the case. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Now, Michael has had several uh, sessions before, hypnosis sessions. So what was the difference with this one? Your session is distinctly unique, <laughs> and uh, yeah. it was it was really nice. Completely different. Completely different in yeah. every way possible. In every way. Yeah. I don't do QHHT sessions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it was completely different. You've had what two, three, three sessions? Three different sessions. Yes. Yeah. Which were which were all very interesting and very yeah. insightful, but uh, I felt like. Um, you were able to guide me. I, th I think you're, I'll, I'll, so much of it I felt was just your guidance throughout that session. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. kind of keep sort of pushing a little bit, pushing a little bit, pushing a little bit. Mm -hmm. And what is also I found very important was to constantly talk. Yeah. The more you talk, the more you talk. You yeah. Know, there, are, there are times when I'm thinking something, I'm like, I should say this. <laughs> And I might be struggling with it, yeah. but then once I say it, there's there's kind of a release. Yeah, and, and we had quite a bit important. release today. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those two attachments, those caught you by surprise. Yeah, well, yeah, in a way. I mean, those I always I, mm -hmm. I, I had my my feelings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, the the Jebediah thing was actually a dream that Michael had had. So in this dream, he saw he's always felt like you've been in prison. Yeah, very much my, yeah. A lot so of my now life. you understand why. Yeah, yeah, and that dream was really, really an intense dream. I was like, I was experiencing that murder, and mm. I was like, uh, was not a pleasant dream. Yeah, and it wasn't you. Yeah. So now do you feel relief that it wasn't, that you're not a serial killer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do, because, you know, not something you want to admit in your dreams, but, right. you know, in my dreams I've had many different dreams of that. And I'm yeah. like, what is going on? And now you understand. Yeah. Yeah. So even the, the, the friends that were hanging out with Jebediah probably were not very nice either, so. No, they, they, mm -hmm. they've they had their experience. Yeah. So uh, some of this video has been edited out because there are some very personal things that, that happen during a session that is purely hypnotherapy uh, that I do not include in these sessions and um, now you understand why because they are very personal and really there's nobody's business to go into your personal stuff but a lot of the stuff was very very emotional for you do you feel like that helped that part oh yeah yeah I mean honestly you know it's to a degree it's embarrassing to sit there and cry but yeah you um, have to re cry regardless <laughs> it's it's such a release of emotion yeah and when you are also releasing that there's you there's a greater connection that's going on so you, you connect to it and then it's just a release yeah and we release a lot today yeah yeah it's like I feel so much better it's so nice so light you're almost floating <laughs> floating on the seat <laughs> so do you recommend this kind of experience to people oh yeah yeah without a doubt I yeah. mean just uh just to have that release is feels life-changing yeah yeah so if you would like a session with me go to my website albawyman.com on the out-of-town page you will see a sign up for my newsletter now my newsletter comes out about once a month and that is the only way that people get sessions with me the newsletter will give you links to a calendar where I'll be going right now we're in Denver I do sessions all around including in my own home place Miami and wherever there's a session, click on it immediately because they do get booked fast, very, very fast. Yeah, I waited about a year. Yeah, so if it's your time, it will be. So like Michael, he had to have a few, a few experiences beforehand in order to release this finally in this session. So if you need to go to someone else, by all means, go to another person. But this experience is a little bit different. So I'm glad you sat through the session. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thank you very much for watching.
Oh, thank you so much. You did great.